Is the UK headed for blackouts this winter? Today's video, we're gonna be looking into what is the actual possibility of blackouts in the UK this winter? What the National Grid are actually gonna be doing about it and what it means if you're an electric car owner. Plus, some things you can do to avoid blackouts this winter and some devices that will keep your electrics running all the way through these possible chances of blackouts this winter. So in short, yes, there is some real chances of blackouts and it's all tied down to gas. And you might ask, what's gas got to do with electric? Well, we use a huge amount of gas to make steam, to power turbines, to power our homes. And this gas has prices gone through the roof. We've got no real long-term storage in the UK for gas. So we've got no sort of deposits for those gas storages. There's some shortage of gas in Europe because of the pipelines and other sort of commitments that are going on. But also, we also haven't invested enough in wind generation or storage generation or any unique generation. And we haven't built any new power plants. A lot of the nuclear plants are down. And this is all tying up to the real chances of blackouts this winter. Now, if these blackouts occur, they're likely to be short blackouts i mean we're talking maybe minutes but they could last a lot longer they could last you know as long as 20 minutes half an hour and there is a couple of ways that they may do it it may be the grid just basically falls over and in which case there's a total blackout in the uk of no power what's more likely to happen is if the national grid see a you know a chance that they're going to run out of actual power they might shut parts of the network down so not the whole of the uk will go off just certain select areas will turn off certain parts of the grid save the amount of demand on the grid to keep the rest of the network up so some of you may get power outs some of you may not and this is the way the national grid will manage the sort of rolling blackouts to uh, keep the national grid running and then why these certain parts of the country are turned off they'll be able to turn extra generation on uh, decrease supply in other parts of the area but the national grid do have other plans to stop this from happening now there's a couple of things you can do to protect yourself from blackouts first of all if you have solar and a battery storage system you could essentially island your house and the grid if you haven't got the equipment that does this already check with your local installer or whoever installed your battery system and find out if you can put it into island mode and have your house run off off the, the inverter and grid and solar that you've already got if you haven't got a battery or, or, or inverter yet, you possibly could have one installed. If you're looking at solar, you're looking at batteries, you're looking at inverters, then make sure you click subscribe to the channel. I will be reviewing some systems very, very shortly. And if I have already reviewed them, there'll be a link top right. If you just want to keep a couple of devices running, maybe you've got kids and you want to keep your router, charge some iPads, keep a phone running, uh, maybe just keep some laptop powered. Laptops should stay powered off their own battery for quite some time, but you might need the internet working like a router. You might have a couple of essential devices that you wanna keep running for maybe 20 minutes, half an hour to an hour. There's some links in below in the description for systems called a UPS system. And it's essentially a 13 amp plug system that plugs in, it can work completely on the grid when the grid's on, but as soon as the grid falls over or there's a power cut, the UPS will run into a lead acid battery. And that lead acid battery, depending on how big it is, could run your devices from five minutes to maybe an hour or even longer if it's a very low power device like a router. If you're interested in buying them, there's a link down below in the description to Amazon. There's a whole host of them that I found there. Now, if you're an EV owner, you might be asking yourself, what's gonna happen to you if there's a blackout? Well, first of all, let's just get some key, key facts out of there. If there's going to be a rolling blackout, it's likely going to happen during peak times. It's unlikely to happen too much in the morning. It's more likely to happen at the night when people have got the lights on, oven on, kettle on, uh, TVs, all the high power devices. And these high power devices are usually peak times between 4 and 7.30. If the grid falls over, it'll be between those two times. And as an EV owner, you're more than likely already on a deal like Octopus Go at 7.5p. And if you're on that deal, you're going to be charging usually between half 12 and half four, in which case the grid should be completely fine at those times. That That's why these off-peak deals are there. It's for when there's low demand and high supply. So you should be fine. However, remember this, petrol owners, you might have a problem because half four to seven o'clock tends to be the time you're driving home from work. It tends to be the time that you'll put fuel in your car on your way home because you're not late for work. And those are the times where the national grid might have a power cut. And if they do have a power cut, 
petrol pumps won't work. Now in the background, the national grid are taking massive steps to try and avoid this, including making sure they've got energy security for some extra generation turn on if they need it, a green third party where they import energy from France, uh, Norway and some other countries, but they may not be able to send us power during this winter. They've already expressed that. That's one of the reasons why we might get blackouts as well. So hopefully they're trying to secure those energy deals and they've been asking factories, large factories, to reduce their usage over these periods. So they may say to them, don't turn any of your power on during this time so the energy can be saved for keeping everyone's lights on. And the National Grid have one final wonderful idea, and that is paying you to use less energy. And if you want to know more about that, check out this video here.